Got a Tamiya silver can in it. 27T. Got a 14 pinion in it. A lot of people said that HD servo is going to be a high drain. It may be. I've been running it with a lot. I ain't been running a whole lot lately though because it's been raining so much. I know it climbs like a champ. I go all the way down there, but baby, we eat up with Copperheads here. You ever heard that song, Copperhead Roll? Believe me, it's inspired by us and our dang rattlesnakes. The only thing I don't like about doing the pin spring mod, it's it stopped from being so much top heavy. But I don't know, it just seemed like it gets snagged up more and stuff when you lower the stance of them. And I made it with vines here too. And the stock CX, the stock Everest 10 wheels, when they get wet, will not grip nothing. Like, I mean, it won't like a wet log or something. It just don't want to grip it. Of course, probably not anything does, because it's a wet log slick. They go through that grass like a channel. Though. These limbs, and that, and that ain't just grass. That's a mess there, trust me. Now my daughter's one of the eight. I thought I'd put metal diffs in this thing, and I don't think I've done it yet. I ordered like three sets and I was gonna give somebody a set for a present. And to be honest about it, they turned out to be a dickhead, so I didn't give it to them. So I don't know if I... And the people say you don't need to mod these and upgrade them. They, they just yard bashing. They're not getting out here really putting some of these through the ringer. I mean, don't get me wrong, I ain't sitting out here hitting mine with a dang hammer either. But I am, you know, I lost it for a minute. <laughs> I am, you know, using mine. I had a guy running his mouth about it the other day. Now look, I see it upright itself. Now every ten, oh, I have spoke too soon. Now I gotta get my leather shoes wet. But an Everest ten, a red cat. I think that's what, they give them that name cat for a reason. Because most of my red cats will write themselves. I mean, you can kind of work with them if you ain't worried about a little scratch, and they will self write themselves. To a certain extent, and I know some of them high dollar ones, RCs, it's got that feature. You'll you'll bat you'll bust it up doing that, bust the disc and everything else. Uh, I've lost more body pins than I care to even remember. My health's bad. Huh? Dizzy now. Be nice. Wish I'd had something like this when I was in my twenties. When I had enough energy to get out and run around all day long. But me, I was working in the mill. I didn't have no like to do nowadays. People lay on work two or three days a year and just cause they knock some girl up get six seven thousand dollars in taxes and the rest of the year the girl draw welfare get free rent free medical 
Back in our day, you was a bum if you didn't work. Nowadays, if you work, you're a bum. I don't understand America. I mean, I really don't. They got it where people don't know what know what bathroom to go into. They don't know what sex they are. Hate America, burn the flag, and those are the people that's acceptable. And ooh, oh, I had it going. I had to had to do that little flip. I don't understand it. If somebody can explain this to me, where me, a good old boy idiot, can understand, go ahead. You know. Like that garbage that lives next door to me. County come out. They throw in their garbage on my property. I haul off six, seven damn loads. You know, to the point where I'm tired of doing it. I said, look, you know, you get your shit out of, damn, out of my yard, please. And uh, I'm the one that's bashed for speaking up about myself. I mean, I don't understand it. I never will. I never will. There's a homeless man who was outside across the road from McDonald's. A patron, I don't know if he knew or what, so I don't know, just wanted to have a big confrontation, but he invited a homeless man in. Now, if the homeless man knew he was uh, banned from McDonald's, maybe he should have spoken up. But he didn't. All right. He goes in and the guy buys the homeless man something to eat. Homeless man is not speaking to no one. Nobody hadn't said a word. I was on film. He ain't said hello. He ain't waved at nobody. No, he's steady over there eating. He glad he got something to eat. Honestly, what it looks to me. Uh, some little young 16 year old McDonald punk starts running their mouth. A girl, of course running her mouth to the old man and he ignores her. He didn't say nothing. He's he steady eating, chewing his food. He like I said, you can tell blatantly that the man's just glad he got something to eat. And also he don't like he's eating, I don't know, two or three days probably at least and, and he's white. And people say, that's just racism mentioning it. Well evidently it must have meant something because they attacked him specifically by mentioning that he was white instead of just saying he was a homeless bum or something. Here comes the cop. Of course, it's a lady Mexican. They say, you can mention that, that's right. No, she made a point to point out to him that he was an old white man and he shouldn't be in there with other nationalities trying to eat and then after they seen that he was going to finish, this white this guy that offered, you know, bought the man a meal, he was he was a little loud, and he was a little raising hell, you know, which he had a right to. So look here, I asked that man, he didn't ask me. I seen him out there. I asked him. I paid. He's eating, and they run him off too. He was talking a little loud, but they didn't say a darn word to those McDonald employees over there making or the other people making derogatory comments about white people should not come in there while they're eating. They didn't say uh, homeless or bums or, they said white people should not be in here while we are eating. The officer said, I know, ain't that right? So I did make a comment about that. Oh God, all the Gonzales, everybody in the world. I ain't just saying Gonzales for the, but that's who it was, I believe, running their mouth. I mean, I mean, uh, who the heck do they think was the ones that fortified the Social Security and all the welfare programs. Who the hell you think paid in all that shit? It, it wasn't illegal aliens and it wasn't other people. I mean, it was after the fact, but it was started by elderly white people. That's who got it started. That's who paid the program. That's who started it. I mean... It, to me, it's like a dog biting a hand that's feeding him. Don't make no damn sense to me, Jack. And I know I'm bashing, messing up my video about this Everest 10. I, I love this thing. You hear it? That was a bearing in the motor screaming when it got wet. Now, this motor that's in it is not an enclosed motor. It is an open hole motor 
with no internal fan. You know, the motors nowadays has got internal fans. They say it helps cool the metal. To me personally, I, I do like them, but I think it robs a little horsepower. I mean, I don't know, it's not proven. I mean, I don't have no way to prove it, but you know, any drag created, you know, just like a, uh, a nitro, you run a nitro with a pull cord or all that on it, it, it robs horsepower from the, sp the center spinning mass, so. And that, to me, a motor look, it'll crawl. Of course, I've got a Traxxas five channel remote on it. Uh oh, I'm on a high hung on a rock. I'm, I'm debating, you know, I'm believing that it won't be long these plastic diffs. They got a metal or aluminum gear on them, but where the axles go in is plastic. So, and really what uh, reason mine went out, it wasn't from bashing, it was from the center hole and the, the mag is little and it got hung on the axle stud and I was trying to pull them off and, and I took a, something, a screwdriver and was beating on the stud to make it come out of the wheel. And I believe that's what messed up the thing in the center of the diff. And uh, cause you know, the plastic ones is kind of tough for plastic, you know. I got that uh, Traxxas uh, like an idiot when I got my uh, Summit package I ordered, a thousand bucks, counting the batteries and charger. I, uh, before that, I had ordered some 7,600 batteries and I, and I contacted Traxxas. They said, oh yeah, go ahead and use that cigarette lighter plug in. And the time you go somewhere and realize that your battery ought to be charged, okay. I plugged it into my Chevy truck cigarette lighter, which stays active all the time, right? And I'd, I'd check on it and it'd cut off. And I, and I should have, you know, I said, well, maybe it's new, you know, it needs to, you know, be used a time or two. So I kept messing with it and plugging it back up. It burnt that battery. It swole it up. This battery swole. But it still accepts the charge. I mean, so I'm going to use it in this crawler. The extra weight helps with the, the lower center mass, I believe. I mean, I bashed the crap out of this truck here. This is mine. My daughter's truck is tough. Me and Randy actually ordered five. We had a drawing for one of them. We gave one away to a uh, kid who had a deadbeat dad. And we kept the other ones. And uh, you believed that the dead, the mom, the, you know, I hate to say it, the scumbag she was, let the deadbeat dad come back. And they took the truck and pawned it for dope. How did she fed us a, a line of crap? She just bad as he was. You know, them women, it puts men before their children. They're a piece of shit. I hate it. You can feel sorry for them. They ain't got no power. Believe me, there's a freaking reason. There's a few in between that don't now deserve help, really deserve help, but most, all people care about now is screwing in drugs and getting shit free. Who, who don't like shit free? Ain't nobody in the world don't, wouldn't want something free, but it's a whole lot better. And you take a whole lot better care of it if you work sweat hard and pay for it, trust me. These little young punks get these six, seven hundred dollar trucks be jumping the damn things off the house, breaking them, and then their mama who works all the time or daddy pays for that shit. They don't appreciate that shit. My dad, my stepdaddy, even the bastard he was would have broke my damn jaw. I've done some crap like that. Shit, I got the hell beat out of me. I knew better. I want my shit to last. I don't want my shit to be broke. I mean, I don't understand the world now. I really don't. I'm confused. I'm an old man. I'm 52 years old. And I am fucking confused. I really am with the way the world is. And I really thought through all the hype that maybe an African-American president may balance out the quality, you know, as far as how shit is shit. That motherfucker made it worse. He wanted started racism worse again. I mean, 
sold our uranium along with the Clintons and, and covered their asses. Sold all, I mean, now all of our enemies has got nuclear shit capable of destroying us. Now, how does that make any damn sense to me? Give your enemies, oh, we'll make them equal that way that uh, they won't be no war. Bullshit. Bullshit. Don't give the enemy, don't, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I can't even describe how stupid that sounds to me. I mean, maybe in their pea brain mind, liberal bullshit mind, they found, but now we got to worry about Kim Jong or wherever his damn name is blowing our ass up and and those allies that they give that shit to or sold it cheap they put that money in their pocket by the way you didn't go back to social security board or american government proven fact clinton foundation got all that damn money obama and, and michael obama if he's so proud and all that shit how come he didn't tell everybody you know his true nature of what he was and i see that's if it been anything like that in our days of shit, they they impeached his ass in a heartbeat. They even impeached old Bill Clinton over that shit, over getting his dick sucked. I mean, and look at this woman. Who's gonna hump that ugly up? I mean, really? <laughs> or his ugly ass daughter? Give her nine hundred fifty thousand dollars a year just because she's the first lady's kid. The president's only supposed to get what, 150 to $350,000? Now how the hell can they uh, give Chelsea Clinton 900 something thousand dollars a damn year? Paid for her uh, birthday and coming out party or wherever the heck it was. But yet can't help veterans get fake legs or something. I mean, and them over putting their life on the line for our country. And all they're doing, they, they say they were fighting so all the rich can get their dope. And I wouldn't doubt it either. That the Clintons ain't got their big hand in that shit. Well, Obama sure did get over and help stir shit up. Go over and sign our life away to the damn UN. Got all these Muslim terrorists over here. They already invaded Italy, Germany, England. All of them's already fucked. And this is Mark Zuckerberg on Facebook. You see anything against any of them or gays? Hey, so many white people uh, turn you in and bash you. You ain't got to worry about uh, other, um, other people turning you in. You, I mean, and these young college kids, oh my God. I mean, sp spending all that money on them idiots and they got sixth grade education fifth grade talking about gonna walk out well, when they walked out I'd stop it all I would you walk out of here you done you ain't getting no your parents ain't gonna get no money back they ain't putting no damn rules on them letting them do anything they want to shit back when I was younger you done anything anything at all your ass goes to jail over nothing you didn't even have a chance to even prove your damn innocence nowadays it takes nine damn jury trials and 15 charges against you for to give you damn probation no one of these idiots running around here shooting people and all that shit they ain't got no fear or nothing they know all they gotta do is holler racism or, or crap like that and these damn libtars turn them loose Ain't no one go out here and have a kid by every, every different race they is walk in somewhere with five different race kids and get any damn thing they want. Women, uh, young women's got to be like poker machines. They back up against the wall and let anybody stick anything in them. I know I'm gonna get bashed for this shit, but I don't care. I'm on our bashed every day or my race and my ethnicity and color is and we ain't done a damn thing to nobody but pay you damn way. And yes, we tired of it. We tired of it. We tired of giving and giving and giving and giving and giving and then getting bashed for it. And you know, back going back to even Rocky King shit. He was doing 120 miles an hour through playgrounds through neighborhoods with people outside and didn't care, run through yards, run through fences, running people down, they had to get out of the way. He didn't have no care, no stopping of anything, whether he hurt anybody or not. And I ain't gonna lie, if I'd been a cop, I'd have beat his ass too. 
that's what he deserved. But yet, no, they, they just decided to award him with, what, $100 billion? And he didn't get all that old damn old, uh, old con guy, whatever the Black Nation got 40% of that shit. Now it's BLM and Black Panther and Muslims up there in a suit dressed, and everybody knows you Muslim, old Farrakhan and that damn old, I hear that bearing raising how that motor is. Took everything Willie Nelson had over, a, he, I guess it was a couple million dollars. And I, I once uh, run around in the pre, eating dinner with the president, oh, seven, eight million dollars and don't care about paying. And it's not a preacher and does not have a church, but he's using that right. I mean, come on. I'm gonna try to block all his voice out and maybe I got the sound cut off. That grass is wet and thick, got limbs and logs. I mean, everything in it. Them little twigs that stick up about big as your finger. Plus that motor is probably hot. It's got half a gallon of mud water in it. I took the ESC fan off, I think. Let's see how hot this motor is. Yeah, that motor ain't even hot. I don't know if it's cause it runs through that water and cooled it off or what. I'm afraid if I cut it off, I won't go. These tough machines at Everest 10, I, I had a SX-10 and a Wraith. And I honestly, I mean, they look they look good, but I didn't like them. Too much trouble. Wraith kept popping uh, A-arms. Remote was garbage. And that SCX-10 tires were too little. You couldn't go over nothing. The one I had, well, I mean, it, like I said, that was a pretty chef queen. Now the Red Cat 10 here is too top heavy. It tilts over even when lowered. And um, I'm gonna try to change bodies on it. I'm gonna try to lower the body a little bit. That big heavy battery I got in it does help. Now I'm gonna use this remote here. I had a switch and I lost it for the lights and stuff. I'm gonna put revert rear steer and a high and low transmission in it. That's, that's my next mods. I've already picked out a, a small nitro two speed, but I ain't gonna tell everybody what it is. It's gonna be a surprise. I don't want everybody to... I tested it on a small scale and it works. I'm gonna make this baby two speed. I'm gonna have it where you can kick it in and out of gear, high and low. Nah, that's a TRX4 transmission I'm gonna put in it. I'm gonna put high and low in it. I'm gonna get me one of them Mad Mike frames, I think, but I ain't gonna get the whole kit. I'm gonna get the first gen kit he made. It. I believe it's got a little bit more flex to it. And I'm gonna make it where I can lock it, lock it in. But I'm going to uh, put, like I said, rear steer center you center it then you flip this switch and put it in low but actually that locks it then you give it gas and then you turn this this way and it turns the wheel crab or this way and it turns it opposite crab or you put it that way and it centers it back i'm gonna use a bec and run uh that way i already got that one hd uh servo which is going to draw a lot of current and them lights too i'm gonna make it where I can uh, unplug the lights or cut them off. Whenever I put it in full lock mode, the lights will either come on or go off. I hadn't figured that out yet. One way or another, that way it's gonna, like if I'm in a distance and I need to, you know, I need to move it a certain way, I'm gonna make it where if the lights come on, I know which way the wheels is. I've got a thing in there that flashes and I was gonna make it flash but I lost the uh, switch, that little switch that is powered by the servo. I lost it, I set it on top of a box and I think, honestly, I think it got accidentally threw away. Um, truthfully, I think it fell down in the garbage bag when I was hauling the garbage out. I 
Oh, and also I got the uh, ESC on this inside a Traxxas box, all, you know, for like a uh, a stampede or something like that, one of my waterproof boxes, but I didn't put the grease on it. It's got the O-ring around it. And that's the reason I keep going through the water a little bit. I want to test it. I think I got the bearing in that motor hauler a little bit. I've got about 10 of these motors, but not this Tamiya. Now, this Tamiya's been in here a while. This thing's logged some miles. That silver cam motor in here now has probably done log 40 batteries. And it's a, like a 1980 motor. It was brand new in the box, but it's an old school motor. So it probably done, it's probably got solid bearings in it. But I tell you what, it'll run. I'm signing out.